Hey everyone, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers, and today I am hiking to Featherhawk Falls in the Sipsi Wilderness. So uh, it's a beautiful midwinter day, and uh, we're gonna go see if we can see a lovely waterfall. So off we go. In this video, I hike to the Featherhawk Falls in the Sipsi Wilderness of North Alabama and then continue on for several miles of off-trail bushwhacking adventure. I started out on Trail 202 at the Randolph Wild Trailhead near the southwest corner of the wilderness. Trail 202 is an old forest road that passes a pair of old cemeteries and a large old oak tree that has now fallen before descending down into the Sipsi Fork Canyon. On the way down into the canyon, I pass by a tall but narrow unnamed waterfall before reaching the Sipsi Fork itself. At that point, I turned up the Featherhawk Creek until I reached the beautiful Featherhawk Falls. This provided a lovely spot for me to eat lunch and enjoy the sights and sounds. After visiting the falls, I returned to the Sipsi Fork and turned upstream and off trail. I bushwhacked my way up along the canyon following the route of an old logging road and the beautiful Sipsi Fork always at my side. Eventually, I reached what on my map was marked as the Rock House and exited the canyon here by climbing up along a small stream until I reached the top of the ridge and picked up another old forest road that I followed back to Trail 202. Finally, I followed Trail 202 back past the cemeteries and back to the trailhead in my car. It was a beautiful, sunny, and mild midwinter day and an awesome opportunity to explore some more of the Sipsi Wilderness. We are at the Randolph Wild Trailhead in the Sipsi Wilderness. It's the information sign. We're gonna be going down Trail 202, which is off that way. And there is nobody here today. So it's just me. Awesome. So Trail 202, off we go. All right, in short order, we have come upon the old forest road, which is Trail 202. And uh, we just came out there. And uh, we're gonna be following this pretty much all the way to the Sipsi Fork today. So it's not a real exciting trail up here on the plateau, but it gets us there quickly. So I think we got about two miles to go on this old road. Okay, in short order, we have come to the branch off for Trail 201. 201 heads off that way. It'll take you over to the Rippy Cabin, White Falls, um, the Sipsi Rapids, and all points off that way. But we're gonna stay on 202 and continue this way. Well, we've come to the reason that this road is maintained here in the wilderness a little bit. And that's so families can access the Johnson cemeteries. There are two of them here. One on the right and one on the left. I'll show you here the one on the right. Last time I was here, my camera was giving me fits. And I didn't get a very good video of this. That was when Jacob and I were doing a backpacking loop. But... Uh, Here's the Johnson Cemetery, one of them anyway. It says Margaret, L Margaret Riddle, 1873 to 1880.
It's a reminder that people used to live out here in the Sipsi Wilderness before it became a wilderness. There's another cemetery back that way, but we're going to continue down the trail on our way. Just past the cemeteries is a little berm here to keep people from driving through. <laughs> and then some downed trees that thankfully the uh, trail crews have cleared. Very nice. Thanks to the volunteers. All right, the next landmark should be the old oak tree. All right, we've come in about two and a half miles and we are upon the remnants of the once great old oak. One of the great tragedies of 2023 is that sometime last winter, she was toppled. So it's a sad, sad thing to see because it was an amazing tree. Look at the hole it left in the canopy. <laughs> There's also an old car here. <laughs> Even more wrecked than it was before since parts of the tree fell on it. Last time when I was here with Jacob, my camera was giving me fits and we lost most of the video we tried to record here. So I had to come back, pay it homage. Such an amazing tree. I suspect it was struck by lightning. There seems to be some charring, but uh, it was a beast. I wonder about the old car here. Is this as far as it got and it broke down and they just abandoned it here? Or uh, was there a homestead near here and the own this is the owner's car that they just eventually abandoned for being wore out? I don't know. My guess is there was a homestead here somewhere. This is a nice flat spot on top of the plateau here, right before we dive down into the uh, the canyons. And uh, the big tree was was maybe a uh, an important feature here. I don't know. Next stop will be a, a small waterfall on the way to the Sipsy Fork. Uh, here's where the road used to go. <laughs> right through there. <laughs> All right, off we go. I also wonder how the old oak never got logged off. I know all of the top of this plateau was once uh, used for logging, and they uh, that's where all the pine trees come from. They're not actually native here. They were added um, for the logging industry before this became a wilderness. If anyone knows, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Noticed a piece of metal out here in the trees. Was wondering what it is. Oh, it's more of the car. That's where the headlight was right there. Or tail lights. Huh. It's quite a ways away from the others. I gotta pick my way back to the trail here. Let's see. Oh, brambles. Got my boots. There we go. We are starting our descent down now. It's the end of the plateau walk. Which honestly is a pretty boring stretch, <laughs> but it's easy enough. And we get our first hemlock. Yay! Into the canyon we'll go. Can maybe hear water running down there, or it might just be wind blowing through the trees. Well, we're heading down there one way or another.
There's a little campsite here right off the trail. Wouldn't be any water real close by, but it's a nice fairly flat spot. I'm heading off this way. And actually, you can go that way. That's kind of a shortcut down to the Sipsy Fork. But I'm going to go this way and see if this little waterfall back here is running. We are starting to descend down among the sandstone cliffs. That's always a good sign. But things are going to get interesting. Well, I can see the waterfall through the trees here. As far as I know, this waterfall has no name. I think we can get a decent look out of here. The sun doesn't glare in our eyes too much. Beautiful. All right, it has, uh, we've come in about 3.3 miles and uh, it's been about an hour and a half. So uh, we're at this little waterfall. I'm gonna have a little snack and uh, then we'll keep going to the waterfall we're targeting. So, snack time. All right, have our snack and uh, heading down the trail to the 64. Down, down we go. There's a nice campsite down here, although somebody's got a ginormous fire ring and garbage. Ah, people. Guess I have to get out the garbage sack. I get really disgusted with people who just put cans in their fire ring. It's like they think the aluminum's gonna burn. Do you know how hot it would have to be to burn aluminum? <sighs> Crazy. Do not put cans or aluminum foil in your fire, campfire. It will not burn. First views of the Sipsy Fork through the trees here. Here's the trail 202 sign pointing back up the way we just came. And we are down here right by the Sipsy Fork now. There's some water in there today. <laughs> it's amazing that uh, just last fall, Jacob and I walked across right here and didn't even get our toes wet. I think it'd be up to your chest today, maybe. You'd get wet, that's for sure. <laughs> but today I'm not crossing, so I'm more worried about these little side strings because I walked across that road. Leaving the Sipsy Fork behind, I'm going to follow a little side trail here, which should take us to a pretty big campsite over here. And then from there, we can go upstream to the, uh, to the Featherhawk Falls. Got to watch where I'm going here. Well, there's some water running in the Featherhawk Creek today. The falls should be going. I just got to figure out how I'm going to get across. Made it right across there. 
No problem. Still have dry feet. <laughs> Some good rocks to stand on. All right, there's a big campsite here. We could put a Boy Scout troop in here. It's big, flat. I'm sure the fire ring's full of garbage. Yeah, a little aluminum foil, but not as bad as the other one. I've never been up to Featherhawk Falls. I've been to that campsite before, but uh, I'm actually not sure if the trail is on this side of the creek or the other side. My map seems to indicate it's on the other side now that I've started going up this side, but we'll figure it out one way or another. There appear to be challenges ahead on this side. I'm going to try crossing back over. There seems to be a good crossing spot here. Let's see if I can not just fall right into the creek. There we go. There we are. Uh, let's go this way. Yeah, there's definitely more of a trail on the east side. So we'll keep going this way. The trail is climbing up and skipping around some giant boulders, giving us up pretty close to the cliffs. I see it! Very nice. Featherhawk Falls. Just gorgeous. All right, I have found a decent lunch spot. It is just about noon, about 20 till, and uh, I'm within sight of the waterfall under a nice dry rock overhang here. Just lovely. Okay, lunch today consists of a sandwich I made, ham sandwich, uh, some nice uh, chocolate cookies, and a bag of blueberries. Good stuff. Had a really nice dry lunch spot here. So cool. All right, that was Featherhawk Falls. That is spectacular. What a beautiful waterfall. All right, I'm gonna head back down the valley and figure out what I'm gonna do next.
after the roar of being under the waterfall, it's almost silent out here. <laughs> Well, this pine tree made a crash when it fell. <laughs> Woo! There's a tree bent all the way over up there. <laughs> We are back down in the flatlands here by that big campsite along Featherhawk Creek here, but on the other side. So I highly recommend if you do this hike up to Featherhawk Falls, you stay on the east side of the uh, Featherhawk Creek. The trail is clear, easy to follow, no problem. All right, return to the Sipsy Fork. Now I gotta decide what I'm doing. I got a whole afternoon yet. I might try to bushwhack my way upstream here. I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a go. All right, we're gonna tempt fate again. Try another crossing. The tricky part is not sliding down this bank into the water. There we go. No problems. All right, I'm gonna strike off this way and see what there is to see. Okay, this is the bonus part of our hike today. We are uh, hiking upstream along the north side of the, I'm sorry, the south side of the Sipsy Fork, just across the Sipsy over there from Trail 209. As I suspected, there's an old road here and a faint path that somebody has walked. So we'll see where it goes. It may go nowhere. We'll find out. The Sipsy Fork is so beautiful down there, I just can't keep my eyes off it. But through the uh, trees above me here, I can see hints of cliff up there too, along the canyon wall. Still going, still following this old road. Still right along the 64. God, it's pretty. It isn't always easy to follow this road. <laughs> I have lost track of it. I assume it's down there somewhere. And I see where people have come this way. After a while, you learn to recognize things like those disturbed leaves right there. Oh yeah, up ahead I see a trail. Well, I've climbed up quite a ways. Isn't that pretty down there? I don't know. I'm going to just keep heading this way for a while. If it gets too hard, I'll just turn back. I have climbed up to just under the base of the cliffs here. Whew. I'm not sure if that was necessary. But it's not been too bad going. A little bit up and down though, as I try to dodge things like this giant boulder in front of me. And this giant sinkhole next to me. <laughs> I have a small stream to cross, which wouldn't be a problem if I could get to it. 
<laughs> it's down in a pretty good little gulch here. Oh, a holly bush, holly bush. Uh, I might be able to cross it here. There we go, crossed it. Uh, now we pick up the old road again. Wonder where it is. Found it. That's a big pine tree. About as middle of nowhere as I can get, there's an X on the tree. <laughs> there's no sign of any trail here. But we're right by the Sipsy Fork. It's gotten to be real bushwhacking. And at this point, I have uh, basically committed to that I'm going to have to climb up and bushwhack my way to the top of the plateau somehow. Because it's too far to go back. So, I continue onward. Oh boy, here we go again. I don't think I can crawl across that log out there. <laughs> There's a pretty waterfall way up the valley there. I don't know if you can see it. It's not very big. All right, should go across here. Uh, getting up the spank though. I'm gonna have to put the camera away. So according to my research, there should be a feature here called Stone House. And I wonder if this is it. I don't know. There's a lot of rocks here. I'll look around. The cliffs here are just amazing. Unfortunately, I need to find a way out of them. My day is starting to get spent. It's mid-afternoon. I'm hoping I'll find a way out of this canyon, up this side canyon. We'll see what happens. It's gonna take a while though. It's steep and rocky. I don't know for what Stone House was for sure, but there's a little bit of a rock shelter here. Or I think I'm going to stop and have a snack. We have climbed. <laughs> Whew, can't even see the Sipsy Fork through the trees down there. I do believe this will be my way out of the valley, out of the canyon, which is good. Then I can bushwhack over to the trail and head right back out. There is a big tree there that has obviously survived the logging. It's not the big tree of Sipsy fame. That's over on the other side of the, the Sipsy Fork. But it's pretty big. <laughs> it's, it's been well protected here in this side canyon. Cute little waterfall. All right, we are basically out of the big canyon. Now we just gotta bushwhack our way up to the old road, which, darn if I don't see an old forest road right here. <laughs> well, I'll be. So it looks like, anyhow, a few down trees along my way, <laughs> of course. <laughs> it doesn't look too bad. I can step over these. 
Well, after that climb, I need a little rest. Whew, that was, that was roughing it there. Let's see what we got for a snack here. Yeah, one of these granola bars should look good. Now I'm no longer concerned about making it back in time. I got it now. All right, our goal now is to take this old logging road until we hit the main trail and scoot on back to the Randolph Trailhead. So off we go. Okay, I have reached the top of the plateau, the top of the ridge. And uh, there's the old uh, trail is here, but the old road, but uh, in about a half mile, I should pick up the main trail out here. So off we go. Just because there's an old road here doesn't make it easy. <laughs> it just makes it easier to stay on track. I don't have to keep looking at my topo map. Still following this old road. We have picked up trail 202 again. We are about halfway between the big old oak tree down there and Johnson Cemetery this way. So now nah, it'll be a lot easier going. That was a long off trail slog, let me tell you. <laughs> My legs are feeling it. Oh, already it's like a super highway. All right, I think I have around two miles to get back to the trailhead. So we'll pound it out. I'm walking right into the sun, which makes it both challenging and kind of pretty at the same time. All right, this little berm means we're back at the Johnson Cemeteries. And one is right up there, and the other's going to be over here. I'll show you as we go by. And it's right here. Let's take this little side trail and go take a peek. Right here. Had a couple trees fall across it, so it's in need of some tender loving care, that's for sure. All right, it is literally a road walk from here on out. <sighs> Time to get back to the trailhead. We are back to the intersection of Trail 201. So it's not far now, which is good. My toes are getting tired. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, here's the little side trail that takes us to the trailhead sign. Technically, you can keep going on that road there too. It goes to the same place. Hey, thanks for coming along with me today to see Featherhawk Falls and a couple other little waterfalls and to do a lengthy bushwhack through the woods 
<laughs> it's been a great day and I'll catch you next time. We have reached the trailhead. Yay!